Welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode, we caught Ho -Oh on on Twitch. That was fun. And now uh, we're here on Cinnabar Island to use Rock Climb to get whatever this is, uh, among other things, apparently, because there's something up here. There has to be something up here. Oh boy, it's uh, <laughs> it's a whole big maze of stuff. Apparently. Man, they have a rock climb just all over this. Alright, it has to be like around here somewhere. Where is it? In this rock? A star piece. Ooh, that's nice. I can sell that. And, oh, there's more objects. Okay. Let's try to find them all. All right, next up we have a Magmarizer. Okay, so this is used to evolve Magmar into Magmortar. And uh, honestly, I really like Magmortar. I, I see some people like, oh, Magmortar and all those other uh, Sinnoh evolutions of Kanto Pokemon are bad. But no, I, I like a lot of them, actually. I don't know, it, maybe that's just me. Is it this rock? Yeah, it's a rare candy. Ooh, that's actually super useful. And I believe that... No, there's more? What the heck? It's down here somewhere. Okay, it's supposedly in this rock? Yeah, it's an iron. Okay. I mean, that's nice. Not really super useful, but okay. All right, so now that all that's done, um, I'm actually going to cut to something I did before this episode, just very quickly. Uh, all right, so off screen, I have gotten something very neat. I have gotten all the gym, uh, the Johto gym leaders phone numbers. So uh, right now, I'm going to be showing off where you can get them, when you can get them, and uh, all the flavor text associated with them that they say and stuff. So yeah, uh, here it is. All right, so you can find Faulkner here on Mondays any time of the day after you've beaten Janine. And uh, here's Faulkner and Janine. Out of all the trainers out there, the best trainer would have to be my dad. Ha! Huh, you don't know a thing. The best trainer in the world is Koga, one of the Elite Four. Namely, my dad. You're mistaken. My dad treats Poke... Please stop this. Why don't you just admit that my dad is the true trainer? You were listening, right? You agree my dad is greater, right? Ah, uh, yes. You do? Just as I thought. You know something? I'm sure we'll be enjoy talking about my dad. Here's my number. Boop, 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 boo. Give me a call on Saturday morning if you want to hear about my dad. Okay. And then they both left. Cool. All right. So in Viridian Forest on Thursdays at any time, uh, you can find Bugsy here. I came to Kanto to look for Bug type Pokemon so I can become a bugger. So I can become a stronger Bug type Pokemon trainer. Hey, why don't we swap? Why don't we swap phone numbers? Sure. Boop, 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 boop. We can battle around lunch on Thursdays. Give me a call. In the Golden Rod City department store on the sixth floor, on any days between 12 p.m. to 4 p.m., you can find Whitney here. What a coincidence. This must be meant to be. Do you want to exchange phone numbers? Please. Sure. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm available around noon on Saturdays. Give me a call when you've got time. Here on the Bell Chime Trail, you can find more to hear on Mondays or Tuesdays at any time. The legendary Pokemon did not choose me, but that does not mean I have lost out on my future. I will continue my training until I discover a new future for me. Say, 
Do you want to be part of my training? Sure. Boop, 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 boop. Give me a call on Tuesday night if you want to battle. In Cianwood, uh, any day of the week, any time, you can talk to uh, Morty's wife. Or, not Morty, Chuck's wife. Wow. His only hobby is to battle tough trainers. Do you want to have my f husband's phone number? Sure. Boop, 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 boop. He takes a break from uh, the pounding waterfall on Wednesday nights. He should be able to chat with you then. All right. Well, that's neat. On any day between 1 p.m. and 2 p.m., small, small window, uh, you can find Jasmine at the Olivan Cafe. Hi. These empty j dishes in front of me are not all mine. Er, actually, the person who sat here ahead of me ate a lot. Anyway, do you want to exchange phone numbers? Sure. Now we can contact each other anytime. I should be able to battle you around noon on Wednesdays. I'll be waiting for your call. On any day between the time of 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., you can find Price at the Lake of Rage. The strong rain falling on the surface seems to be agitating the, ra the raging lake. This must have some purpose that we meet again. Why don't we exchange phone numbers? Sure. Da -da -da -da. I make it a habit to train myself on Monday mornings to give this lady lazy body a spine. You should. Uh, you could be a good p training partner. I'll be waiting for your call. In the Dragon's Den, on any day between 6 a.m. and 10 a.m., just like with Price, you can find Claire and, well, in the Dragon's Den. It's still early, and you've got nothing to do already? I may have time to listen to you. If you insist, I can exchange phone numbers, too. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I can battle you on Friday nights if you insist. And you also have to have defeated her and Lance in a multi-battle. Just wanted to point that out quick. Alright, and now that all of that is done... Uh, let's head on into the Seafoam Islands. Alright, now we went up the, le up the ladder, which is where Blaine was. So now let's head on down here. The Seafoam Islands. Now, I should have everything that I need to get through the Seafoam Islands. We have Shantae over here with her strength. So she can push the boulders aside. Ooh, hello. What's this? <gasps> There's an item up there. It's an ice heel. This one. I want to get that item. I need to use a repel. Good song. All right, so I just push this one and... Oh, actually, I think I messed that one up already by... Just by coming in here. Okay. Uh, and there's another push puzzle over here, but I want to get that in first. Oh, there's an item here. Okay, I'll grab this. Waterstone. Ooh. That's good for getting Pokemon like Vaporeon and like Poliwrath. I need to use strength again. Then you push this one to the side, and then you're free. You can get this item, which is a Grip Claw. I believe that extends the amount of time or the amount of turns that moves like Bind and Constrict are being used. Let's check it out. Uh, yeah, it extends the duration of multi-turn attacks like Bind and Wrap. Okay. Cool. Okay, what's down here? 
I have to know. Oh, great. This is a, just a dead end. Okay, well, let's go the other ways. Man, this is just going to be a big maze, isn't it? Actually, I already know it is. Ah, uh, wait, no, this is the wrong way. Ah! Ah, uh, can I get through? I think I can. 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 I think I can! Yeah! We're through. Okay, but I believe this just takes us out through... Yeah, to the other side of the Seafoam Islands. To where it loops back to, uh... Not Saffron. What's that place called? <laughs> Fuchsia! Fuchsia City. Right. For some reason, Fuchsia City is the city that I forget the name of the most. Like... It's the most common name for me to forget what the name is. I don't know. It's just... I don't know what it is about it. It's just the one that I forget the most. Oh, well. Anyways. Uh, let's go down this ladder then. Ooh. We have trainers to fight. Cool. Uh, fun. There we go. God, I need to just... Tiptoe around these word plays and stuff to not accidentally make them. To beat the cold, try warm clothes and a hot drink. Now, the funny thing is I'm actually recording this on probably one of the hottest days of the year. So it's it's kind of refreshing to see an, an ice area. Also, you are very high leveled for for when you can get in here. Holy cow. Although, I think... Was this your only Pokemon, or do you have one more? Regardless, Shantae is be is great. She is the, the best. Yep. Urgh, all the way out here. That was a hot battle. Boo. Hey, hey, you're in my way, right? Uh... I guess. Kinda. Now, the unfortunate thing is that you... These, this is the only place that you see these kinds of trainers. The skier and the snowboarder. In fact, I think this is the only game with a skier and snowboard class. I cannot remember any other times that there are those classes in other games. Which is really weird. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe they were in Price's Gym. They might... Yeah, yeah, they were in Price's Gym. Never mind. Scratch that. Scratch all of those words out that I just said. Strength. Your cloister is down. What is your next victim? Dugong. Ooh. Okay, um... Wait, I thought... Oh. Oh, okay. I guess I have Airheart. Uh, yeah, let's use Airheart. I know that she's flying type and Dugong is ice type. Blah, 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 blah. There are secondary types to consider. Such as the grass type. <laughs> oh, that totally would have knocked it out if it was any game later than this because they actually buffed uh giga drain in later games which which is really unfortunate that it's lower powered in this it's 60 power and later in later gym in later gens it's 70 po it's 75 power which is considerably more powerful it's just really unfortunate because it's it would be a really good move if it was any game later than this I digress, though. I got kicked around. Yeah, kind of. I guess. I didn't really use any kicking moves, though. Oh, there's another trainer. Okay. What did you come all the way out here for, I wonder? 
Hmm, I wonder. Maybe we'll get to that eventually. Bryce. That's one letter away from Price. The ice gym leader. Okay. I guess they have to have trainers that have ice in the name that be ice trainers. And we did it. I lost all I lost all the way out here. Yeah. Trainers are everywhere. Yup. Oh, should I go th mm. Yeah, you know what? I'm I'm going to see what's over here first. Oh, it's just a shortcut. Okay, well. <laughs> no, what? That's fine. I can just use him to get over here to this ladder. Oh. Repel wore off. Dugong. Oh, you're adorable. Now, um, apparently I had, uh, so I record this with OBS, and apparently I had my mic on for OBS still, so hopefully I can manage to, uh, make the mic on that not audible. Because I usually record with, uh, Audacity and OBS at the same time. Just so I can be like, oh, I said something wrong. I need to fix it in post and say something else. It's basically that stuff. And like, if my mic is too loud, then I can just make it quieter without making the sa the game quieter and stuff like that. Okay, that's how you get across. Okay, so you need to push this boulder up twice. And then you can get across. We. Ooh, there's an item here. An Ultra Ball! Alright, so we are in the basement now, which, uh, <laughs> there's actually something at the very end of this, which you'll need to be wary of. But for now, let's just grab all this free stuff that's just lying on the ground. I need to put up another repel. Wait, what? Huh? How do you move on? This way? No? What? I guess you need to use other ladders. At least I got an Ultra Ball for free. That's nice. That's good. Oh, hey, another free item. Ice Beam? Ooh. What better place for Ice Beam to be than Seafoam Islands? Like, there is no other place that would be better. All right. Uh, do I do that and then... Okay, maybe I do this, then... Okay, I think I got this figured out. Yeah, that seems like it's right. I'm sorry? Why can't I push that up? Hello? Oh! All I had to do was that. Okay, well, then I feel a little dumb, but it is fine because we got through. Okay, so next puzzle is... Oh, but I can't do that because then... No, I can't push that. Why can't I? Okay, that's a path forward, so I... Yeah, I'll do that second.
There we go. Okay, so that took a little longer than I thought it would. I'm trying to solve that one puzzle. Jeez. Okay, so... Oh, there is a stair. Okay, okay, so we need to go down here regardless of anything to move on. All right, no items over there. Might have seen a little flash of something out in the corner of the screen. Ignore that for now. Uh, ignore that, ignore that in the middle of the screen. Hello, stairs or ladder. Uh, is there a hidden item up here? There seems like there is. Oh, it seems like it's on the ledge. Okay, so I haven't missed anything yet, it seems. Dang it, but I need to put up another repel. How many repels will I eat through in Seafoam Islands? Place your bet in the comments. All right, so we have more water to trudge through. Because that wouldn't be the right word, trudging. Ignore that Articuno up in the corner. There is no man behind the curtain. Ooh, a rare candy. That's helpful. Okay, I knew there was something up here. Is there anything else hidden in this room? Doesn't seem like it. Cool. But there is a ha an item over here, which happens to be a revive. Ooh. Very nice. Very good. And there happens to be an item over this. Well, actually, no. No, that's not right. But. Well, hmm. Okay, actually, hang on. Hold the phone. Yeah, I, th I think that's everything in Seafoam. There might be more, but I don't think there is. So we showed the exit. We showed where to get in. We showed all the items. Now to get over to th that thing that I said to ignore until a certain time. The time to explore it is now. Articuno. The legendary bird of ice. But uh, we're not going to be catching it this episode. No, no, no. Uh, I'm actually going to be live streaming catching this Articuno. Again. Well, not again. Uh, okay, so in Fire Red, I already showed an Articuno fight. I'll, I figured it would probably be best to just stream catching... Articuno, since I already showed it, like, in video, in normal video form once. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'll see you for the live stream on Twitch. And hopefully we have a good time doing that. Anyways, I'll, uh, man, this is long-winded. I'll see you next time for that.